Hey there and welcome to this lesson. In this video, we're going to show you where to find SEO settings within your Bubble app. So without wasting time, let's get started. Alright, so in order to find the SEO settings for any Bubble app, simply go to the settings tab and then click on the SEO or meta tags sub tab. And then here you'll be able to find the different SEO settings that you can configure for your Bubble application. So to begin, let's start with talking about a sitemap. So here within the bubble settings, we have the option to expose a sitemap file by checking on this checkbox. And you may be wondering what exactly is a sitemap. So a sitemap is basically a file that provides information about the website pages, videos and other files on your site and the relationships between them. And search engines like Google read this file in order to crawl and index your website more efficiently. So to further clarify how a sitemap works, we first need to understand that there are two types of pages. We have static pages and we also have dynamic pages. So static pages are simply pages that contain content that does not change. For example, the home page of the zero code website can be considered to be a static page because this content does not change. And the about us page is also a static page as well as the services page. So all these are examples of static pages. So let's now talk about dynamic pages. So dynamic pages are pages that serve as templates which contain content that changes. And the content is always structured according to the specified template of the page. So to help you understand this better, let's look at zerocode.com slash template. So this is in fact a dynamic page because the content of this page changes depending on which zero code template that we're looking at. For example, here would be the video of the template and here would be more information about that zero code template. So to see this in action, let's click on this template for example. So here we can see the video of this specific template that we clicked on. We can see the name of the template, the pricing and more information about this template. And again, if we click on another template, we can see that the content of this page has changed because we're looking at a specific zero code template. So that's basically the difference between a static page and a dynamic page. And this is an example of what a sitemap looks like. So this is a sitemap for the zero code website and it includes both static pages and dynamic pages. And if we insert a dynamic page URL in the search box like this URL here, it will show us all the pages that are created dynamically. So this is how a sitemap works. And as you can see within these settings, we have the option to choose to select which pages we want to be added within our sitemap. So it's really simple to add a specific page to your sitemap. And oftentimes a sitemap contains static content. But what if you have a page that contains dynamic content? Well, in that case, you can still check on the checkbox and Bubble will automatically include that dynamic page to the sitemap. Another thing that we want to talk about is the robots.txt file. So this file basically tells search engine crawlers which URLs the crawler can access on your site. And this file is also used to make sure that crawlbots do not index test pages. And if you want to customize the robots.txt file, you can click on this checkbox, but it's highly advised that you only customize this only if you know what you're doing because it can impact your site's indexing. So another thing that we want to talk about is with regards to 301 redirections. So a 301 redirect is basically a permanent redirect from one URL to another. For example, let's say you had a domain which was called abc.com, but then you go ahead and rebrand your business and now you have a new domain which is called xyz.com. So in order to ensure that people who are still using your old domain can continue to access your pages on your new domain, you can use a 301 redirect in order to redirect people from your old domain to the new one. And within the bubble settings, we can configure the 301 redirections right here. But it's important to note that for the redirection to work, these URLs must point to pages that do not exist in the app. And just as an example, this is how you can configure a 301 redirect. You can have your old domain to redirect to the same page on your new domain and then click save. And if you want to set up multiple 301 redirections, 
you can go ahead and repeat the same process. But this method of adding 301 redirects works best for static pages. But what if you have dynamic pages? So for that, you would need to create a workflow that works when a certain condition is met. For example, for this event right here, we can see that this event is executed only when the path is this. And if that's the case, you want to go ahead and open an external website, which will lead to the same page, but on our new domain. So that's how you can go ahead and set up a 301 redirect for dynamic pages. So hopefully this lesson has helped you see how you can configure some SEO settings within your bubble app. So we can now move along to the next lesson.